What's up, you two? It's the J-Man and me, the Jokester. And we're here to do a sequel to a previous J-Man and the Jokester video. Maybe you saw it. It was uh, Top 10 Super Mario Brothers enemies that should be in Mario Maker 3. Well, J-Man has thought of 10 more enemies he would like to see in the next installment of Mario Maker. And J-Man, are you ready to count down? All right, number 10. Not 10. Amp. That's right, an amp. And those are uh, these electrified kind of uh, black balls that have a bit of a smiley face on them. And uh, they first appeared in, in uh, Super Mario 64. Uh, they're real tricky too. They're very hard to 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 uh, get around, and if you uh, if you touch them, you get electrocuted. And uh, you, you if you're big Mario, you go down to small Mario, and if you're small Mario, you die. I think that would be great to play with in Mario Maker 3. Who do we have, or what do we have coming in at number nine, my friend? Fuzzy. Yes. Fuzzy. It's sort of similar to an amp, right? It, uh, except, I mean, it's black and it can kind of shock you or kill you. But it's not electric. It's just sort of like a black blob with these big googly eyes. And usually <clears throat> in the games, they're on a, they're kind of on a fixed pattern, right? Yeah. So at number eight, Jamin. That's right, a bruiser. Uh, I think <laughs> I think the bruiser is my favorite Super Mario enemy. Uh, it it's a it's a relatively new one. It's basically a ghost with boxing gloves, and if it sees you, it just comes at you and starts boxing. Um, it's just a lot of fun and kind of spooky, I think. Um, and they're uh, just just I just think they're neat. But do you think they're related to booze at all? Do you think they're they're just like they're booze who went to the gym and got muscular? I don't know. Perfect drug conspiracy <laughs> feel. Well, thank you. And next, coming in at number seven is. The Blarg. The Blarg, yes, which is a, a lava uh, creature. Coming in at number seven is the Blarg, which is a, uh, a lava creature. Sometimes it's uh, stylized as a dragon. Other times it's kind of just more like a general monster. Um, but it, uh, it can sometimes, oh yeah, in the Yoshi games, it's like a pile of yarn or like an outline of a dragon in yarn. Um, another, a bit, one of the few really big, crazy Mario enemies that you can't really jump over or sneak past. Um, I like the lava levels, and then I didn't, I don't like the lava levels in the original Mario games, but I think they're a lot more fun uh, these days. I don't know why that is. Now, J-Man, I gotta tell you, uh, number six is another one of my faves. And, uh, and you, uh, you sure do talk about the enemy at number six quite a bit. I think he's a favorite, he or she is a favorite of yours. So why don't you tell us what enemy is at number six, my friend? It's Mad Moon. <laughs> the Mad Moon, which is the companion to the angry sun, of course. The Mad Moon is uh, pretty rare also, right? Um, only only in a couple games. Um, but oh, oh, is that moon mad? So mad that its eyes are red. That's pretty mad. The sky's the limit with the Mad Moon. Um, coming in at number five, J-Man. Lay it on us. Fuck. Game puffer, vagina, puffer, but it's all never 
everything you are. That's right. This is an enemy that it is. You can use it in the Mario Maker games, but only in the 3D world. And you'd like to see it available in all of the too many big fish trying to get Mario. Okay, uh, what's what's next on the list, J Man? Galumba. Yeah, the Galumba, which is a variation uh, of the classic Goomba uh, that first appeared in Super Mario World. They're sort of the bigger or rounder Goombas. You know, just kind of a fun twist on the Goomba. A little variety. Why don't you tell everyone who's coming in at uh, number uh, three on this list? Fish. Boo. Yeah, the fishing boo, which is the ghost of Lakitu, the ghost of a, a fishing Lakitu. Is that right? And it dangles uh, some kind of. Is that ice that it's dangling? An energy, some sort of weird energy? I don't know what it uh... Alright, we're getting down to, we're, we're down to the final two. J-Man, why don't you tell, tell everyone the enemy that almost took the number one spot. The enemy coming in at number two. Octopus. <laughs> Yeah, Octumba is another uh, kind of variation on the Goomba. Um, now these these are, are these are kind of difficult to kill. They're tiny blue and yellow uh, fellas that kind of hop around. Or women, I'm not sure what their gender. They hop around and um, shoot stuff at you, right? All right, J Man, no. No, the number one. Flip. Flipris, which is uh, a walrus type creature. Uh, it's pink, and it throws ice blocks at you, right? Is that what it does? Snowballs. So it throws big snowballs at you. And uh, they're cute, but very dangerous. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it would be great. There's, I feel like there definitely is, there aren't enough ice or winter enemy options in these Mario Maker games. And... How can you beat the flippers? You just can't. That's why it's a number one. Um, J-Man, I gotta tell you, this is a great list. I think everybody would love to see all these enemies in Mario Maker 3. I think Nintendo needs to watch this video. Do you have an honorable mention? Okay. Which enemy is the honorable mention? It's... The... Snow... Spy... The snow spike. All right, let me look up the snow spike real quick so I know what I'm talking about here. Snow spike. Oh my goodness, he's like a little penguin fella, right? That's a cute little, a cute little enemy. Um, a, a rare, kind of a rare one in New Super Mario Brothers, and it actually it says it appears in Mario Maker 2, uh, and it's in the Paper Mario series too. So does this, does the snow spike throw snowballs at you? Yes, it looks like it does. And Jay, man, I'm glad you had me on your second uh, countdown of 10 enemies you want to see in Mario Maker 3. I hope Nintendo pays attention. Uh, I hope they take your advice. I hope Mario Maker 3 comes out soon and we can enjoy it and everybody can enjoy it. And we can all have a common talking point. And <laughs> thank you, Jay, man, for having me on another one of your fantastic videos. <laughs> Your wrist, <clears throat> bud. Yeah. So, let's say goodbye to the people. Bye. Bye. Thanks for tuning Hi. in. Oh, I Something's coming up the plumbing for Luigi's in a bind. Giant turtles out to get him. Creepy crabs are right behind. Fighterflies, cheaper shy.